for today, we're going to do another activity. We're going to make some yarn monsters. Here we go. We're going to start with a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube. And all you need to do is squash it, squash it like that, and then kind of fold it over so that it looks kind of like a U. You're going to take your paper towel too, and you're going to take your yarn. So we're just going to put the, put the end of the yarn right there and just pinch it. Just pinch it. You're just holding the yarn up against your paper towel tube like that. And now you're going to wrap it. And you're going to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. And you're going to keep on wrapping it a whole bunch. Your hands might get a little tired, but you want a lot of yarn on there. And you want to just keep going and going until you have a nice big ball of yarn wrapped around your tube like that. So once you're there, take your pipe cleaner and fold it in half like that. Fold it in half. And now and bend it at the top. So now you've got, kind of makes a V like that. You are going to simply take one part of the V, the hole, so that it goes underneath the yarn like that. It's just one more time. I'll do it one more time. Take, it's kind of like it's going to eat the yarn. like that. And then give the pipe cleaner a twist. It is holding your yarn in place like that. Now, if you don't have a pipe cleaner, that's okay. Just cut off a little piece of yarn like this and you'll use that instead of the pipe cleaner. Take your piece of string and do the same thing. Just put it through the hole. If there we go, you might have to push your finger down inside to get it through the hole. And there it is. And then you're just going to tie a knot around the big chunk of yarn there and tie it in a knot like that. Now you can slide your big ball of yarn off your paper towel tube because it's being held together by your knotted string or your pipe cleaners. And now you have something that looks a little bit like this. Here is where you're going to take your scissors and get, get your muscles ready because you're going to put your scissors right through the hole where the paper towel tube was. And you're going to start cutting. And you're going to cut through all of those. So it might take a little work. You got to chop, chop, chop. You might have to move your scissors around a little bit, back and forth. You won't be able to cut it all at once, but you just keep on chomping all those bits of yarn. And there we go. We're almost there. And there we go. There's the yarn monster, and we could cut off if there's any loose pieces. There's a few more long pieces. I'll cut those guys off. You've got a yarn monster. And if you have your pipe cleaners, you can make them into little antennas. You could have them sticking straight up. You could curl them down a little bit, make little cute little curly antennas. And there he is, a little yarn monster. And if you want, you could put eyes on it. So if you have stickers that are eyes, you could just Stick them right on the yarn. You could stick them on here if you have sticker googly eyes. But if you don't, 
it's not that hard to make eyes out of paper and then put some tape on it. So the way I do it, I take a piece of paper and I fold it in half like this. And then on the folded, right here on the folded part, I draw an eye shape. And just right there you can put it. And then it's easy to get in there and cut your shape out. Because it's kind of hard to cut out circles from the center of pieces of paper. So that's an easy way. And then you just cut off the other side. And then you've got two eyes. Those are still a little stuck together, so I'll give a little snip. And there we go. And then I put some pupils in my eyes, and I have eyes. And all I have to do is take a little, a little circle of tape and put it on the back of the eye. And watch this. There it is. Our yarn monster. And of course, you can decorate it. You could add lots of things to your yarn monster if you wanted. And you could make a whole family of yarn monsters and with all different colors. And you can make some with really long hair. Or you could practice your cutting and give it a haircut and trim up the hair and make it have really short hair. It's so much fun. All right. Well, you guys were great listeners. We are done for today. Bye, everybody.